you use the Pythagorean theorem? If you've got a right triangle and uh, you know the hypotenuse and one of the legs, but you're searching for that other leg. I'll show you. Remember, Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, a and b are the two legs, and c is the long side, the, uh, the hypotenuse. All right, let's uh, get a right triangle up here. We know that the uh, this is a right triangle because one of the angles is 90 degrees. And I'll give you the hypotenuse. Let's say it's 13. I'll give you one of the legs. Let's say it's 12, and we're searching for that other leg. We'll call that a. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We don't know what a is, so we'll just leave it as a squared. We do know that b is 12, so b squared would be uh, 12 times 12, 144, equals c squared. We know c is uh, 13, so 13 squared is 13 times 13. That's 169, and we have, look at this, we have a simple algebra equation here. We've got a squared, plus uh, 144 equals 169. Let's get A by itself. Uh, what's the opposite of plus 144? It's minus 144, so let's do that on both sides. And we've got A squared equals 169 minus 144, which is uh, 25, so now we have A squared equals 25. Dude, if A squared equals 25, then A is just five, because five times five is 25. Boom, we did it, we found the other leg. We had the hypotenuse, and we had one of the legs, and we used the Pythagorean theorem to find that other leg.